How important is your home to you? What if it couldn't protect you and your family from the cold or the heat or from deadly diseases? So many in our world face this every day, but it doesn't have to be this way. You can help Esperanza build hope for a new world, one home, one family at a time. In the developing world, there are so many people who are living in very, very basic housing, substandard housing. There are homes that are built out of found materials, you know, sticks, mud, rocks, twigs, whatever it may be. For most of us living here in the United States, we don't understand that. If you're living with a roof over your head, you're doing better than 75% of people in the world. So the process for us when we're building homes is to work with our local partner to identify families that are living in the most substandard housing. We're gonna provide that technical expertise and the building materials to teach them how to build a sustainable home using local materials. They're going to be asked to put in the sweat equity to build their own home, so they're also gonna learn a skill at the same time. We're, we ask them whenever possible to put in a financial investment so they have a buy-in into the project that's gonna be their home. Here's a look at just one village where we're doing work this year. I'm actually leaving the home right now of Vesalia and Wilbur. They're recipients of an ecological home through the partnership with Esperanza and Cadet. What this means is that they actually have little tricks that allow them to live a little bit healthier and a little bit safer. One is having thicker walls to both insulate them in their home and allow their children to not be exposed to the cold. The second is actually a greenhouse that's connected to the home that channels warm air into the home and allows them to grow vegetables. When we visited Peru recently and talked to families, one of the families told us that they had a name for their home. They called it the Warm House, with a special ecological design that Esperanza uses, which goes into the construction. There are many benefits, one of which is that the temperatures inside the homes are increased and are up to eight degrees warmer than the traditional houses. This is really something that's important in the high Peruvian Andes. With the, these ecological homes, there are other benefits that the families told us about. Warm water, indoor toilets, gas stoves, separate bedroom. All of these things um, are add up to improved health outcomes for the families, such as a decrease in respiratory illnesses. Another amenity that the homes offer is an attached greenhouse. One of the families that we met with told us that they were growing gold. They said it was gold because the, um, they were growing vegetables that they had never eaten before. And also they were calling it gold because of the high profits that these vegetables yielded in the local markets. My, my wife jokes with me when I come back that I institute all these austerity measures at home because I've seen where people are living and I see how proud they are of the homes they have afterwards. And coming back to the US, I always feel so blessed and grateful for what we have. and just feel like we need to do more. And with 90 cents of every dollar going directly to the poor, it's easy to see why people support the work of Esperanza. Will you help Esperanza build a new world of hope? Visit wetransformlives.org.